Hi, this is Rez Gaming, and welcome to the Basic Combat Guide for Onigiri. This video covers the basic mechanics regarding weapon range, skill combos, dodging, blocking, and enemy behavior. Knowing the range of your weapon can maximize the efficiency of your attacks. Most melee weapons have a short range of 2.5 meters to 4 meters, while ranged weapons can have up to 12 meters in distance. This is important because skills also use this value to determine whether or not you can hit a target. But there are some exceptions to this rule. For example, lunge step requires a minimum of 7 meters to hit a target, but can still hit a target within melee range. While fighting, it can get a little hectic, where you can lose focus on targets. However, if you hit tab while the blue icon is swirling around an enemy, it will lock red and focus on that target. If you are a ranged user, your attacks and skills will automatically follow the tab target. In addition, tab targeting also tells you the proper distance of a selected skill. Although basic attacks are fun and satisfying, skills are your bread and butter in helping you dish out the most damage. Skills can be comboed before, during, and after a basic attack combo. In addition, skills can combo into each other, such as casting two arrow skills or even lunge step into Oni Blast. Staying on the offensive is fun, but a good defense ensures you stay alive. The most basic way to avoid damage is to dodge, simply by double tapping in a direction. However, there are some attacks that become too difficult to avoid. That is where blocking comes in. Blocking can drastically reduce damage done against you. Just try not to block with the staff or a wand. Most enemies behave similarly and are easy to manipulate. By playing a ranged character, you can easily keep your distance and kite them around. However, some monsters respond to this with a ranged attack of their own. In this case, it pays to be extra cautious or try a new strategy against them. As a melee character, you can also circle around them and wait for a window of opportunity, which can be achieved by dodging or blocking. Dodging has a high recovery time and no invincible frame rates, so dodge carefully. In addition, blocking and countering is a risky but viable method to staying head-to-head -head against monsters that never give you a chance to retaliate. Remember to heal after taking damage. All enemies behave differently and become progressively difficult as you level, but by following these basic mechanics you'll catch on and slay them in no time. Though it can be discouraging to face death multiple times, take them as learning opportunities to help you fight them again next time. If you have any other combat suggestions or strategies, leave a comment below. This is Res Gaming and have an awesome day.